All right, everybody, it's our Clow here, and very excited as always to present this information to all of you today. And really, there's so much to go over that it's best that we more or less jump right into things here. So, as you're all likely familiar with at this point, I've still got this damn World in 2019 cover as my start here. Alright everybody, it's our Clow here and very excited as always to present this information to all of you today. And really there's so much that I would like to go over. It's best that we more or less jump right into things here. So at this point in time, most of you should be familiar with what this is. And you know, it's still on my radar. This is going to be the third video now in which I've looked at this cover, but unlike my previous two videos, which I highly recommend you look into, this one I'm actually going to look at the cover here and go the more common path of picking apart images and showing you why they bear significance for the year 2019. Up until this point, the only thing I've really said about this rendition of the cover is that with the moon up top above everything an arrow pointing to it and inversion of all the text it seems to really strongly support the research in part one of this series in which i discuss the prominence of moon worship throughout the elite in part two i of course expanded on that and started discussing the role of sex magic and its role throughout politics and our culture as a whole and then even looking into its economic component and that it generates billions of dollars annually that goes to completely shadow figures. But I want to talk about some people, a person in here today, that is not really getting the proper level of attention, and that is this guy over here, which some of you might not even recognize. On the middle right of the page, we have Mr. Walt Whitman. Now, let's... For those of you not familiar, set the stage here a little bit. Walt is regarded as America's poet, as the poet of democracy. He was held to be one of the highest beacons of nationalism and is regarded as one of the most celebrated and profound American voices to ever find an audience. This man believed himself to be Messiah-like, and similarly, others felt that one day his birth would come to be celebrated, much like we celebrate the birth of Christ. And interestingly, the superficial reason that he's on this cover is because 2019 marks the 200-year anniversary of his birth. But there has to be more. So the very first thing that started to run across my mind is if this is one of America's most influential icons, why on earth is he on the opposite side of the pond behind Vladimir Putin? And so that became my first question that I wanted to answer. And in looking into it, I found that back in 2009, we had then U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton at an unveiling ceremony of a Walt Whitman statue in Moscow at the State University. And if that's not compelling enough for you, when we look down here, she says, just as Pushkin and Whitman reset poetry, we are resetting our relationship for the 21st century. Now, bearing in mind that's in 2009 and Whitman is appearing on this cover for 2019, that is a difference of 10 years. 
that just so happens to be the number that our Phoenix friend here has on his medallion. Now, when thinking about resetting relationships, introducing something as a world currency seems to be like one hell of a way to do that. Now, I'm going to redirect you to part two in this series for more on the number 10. Again, one of the perfect numbers. But you can see here that it is representative of the completion of a cycle. And in the tarot deck, it is the wheel. That is to say, change is the only constant. No one energy can dominate our spectrum for too long before it is replaced with something else. And we look at the ushering in of a new currency that certainly seems to hang in the balance there. But there, there's more. Let's get back here. When you look at what Clinton is talking about with the Cold War mentality still causing tension between the U.S. and Russia and just fostering distrust and tension, one of the roadblock issues she references is missile defense. And so, again, when we look to what's going on now, we see that just a few days ago, on December 26th, NBC runs this article about how in 2019, Russia is going to be deploying new hypersonic nuclear missiles into their arsenal and goes on to state that they're highly maneuverable and able to easily evade U.S. missile defense systems. Now, this, of course, is a part of that mainstream narrative to promote fear, distrust, and overall instability between not only nations but within individuals. Rest assured... <laughs> Although the U.S. says it does not have this technology, we have it and greater. And for any number of reasons, we are kept in the dark about that. But in getting back to this, though, let's look more because I want to talk about Walt. And I think it's very interesting that if we are looking here at his legacy and influence, and I know you're all seeing that glaring 55 on his stamp over there and he is very heavily connected with that moon number which we'll be discussing today but look here just amidst the number of things let's let's also point out that he was the model for bram stoker's dracula character the immortal dark deity who feeds on the blood the life force of the living to maintain itself is based on america's poet now how fucking profound is that but what i want you to see here is this quote from one of his friends and this these quotes can be found from scholars as well this man really only gets the highest praise but she says, you cannot really understand America without Walt Whitman, without Leaves of Grass. And so Leaves of Grass was published in 1855 and is his definitive work. And in 1891, he published the final edition of it, which he labeled the Deathbed Edition. And that was the seventh revision that he had done on that. Again tying us back to this number we've been talking about tremendously but notice as well that 1891 he says l of g at last complete after 33 years and no coincidence whitman finds himself on the 33rd edition of the world in 2019 furthermore the house in which he completed that final edition in had its address changed so that it included a 33. Now remember in part one I discussed in Crowley's Book of Lies that title, that chapter is entitled Baphomet and it's connected to these ideas of understanding, seeing past the misdirection, seeing past the illusions, okay, which so heavily characterize our world. But so now let's jump back here, though. 
And again, thinking about to that part one, we talked about Alexander de Rothschild, who is going to be the seventh generation Rothschild to run that empire. But what I want to do for you here, I'll pull up a little more of that older coding for you. So that you can see here in the publishing year of Leaves of Grass, both of those numbers, 18 and 55, are major moon numbers that we've been discussing. And we can really drive that point home if we look at Leaves of Grass and see that the word moon appears 55 times throughout it. Furthermore, here you can see that same year Walt's father died. And it is very commonly held belief that in this elite circle to be granted admission, one must provide a blood sacrifice of a family member or otherwise incredibly close person to them. And so that would fit the bill very nicely. And of course him being at 36 for that first publication really to me lends a lot of strength to that. I've looked into this number being just as significant as 33 and you can see a little more of the coding for it down below here but what I really want to hone in on here is the coding on leaves of grass right something we cannot understand America without and you see here the coding for it is the same as skull and bones the serpents and Saturn cult things that we cannot understand America without. That is the undercurrent, the underbelly of the elite that has guided all of the manifestation of this negative energy. And I want you to take it a step further here in seeing the path of Resh written out because this is all appearing on the 2019 cover, the 19th year of the new millennium. And of course that card, the sun, the path of Resh. I could really go round and round with this symbolism. We have the president of Paris over or France over there, Emmanuel, his coding pops up. January 3rd, the date that the 116th Congress is going to come into session, allegedly do something about the current partial government shutdown we have in the U.S. over the, the wall. But it's interesting that date, January 3rd, the first month, the third day, it's the number 13, just like the total number of letters in Leaves of Grass. And that tarot card is the death card or the transformation card, otherwise progression of some sort. But in that coding, though, you could also see the phrase, I am 999. And this is one of the original stamps from uh, the 1860, I believe, publication of this work. And you see here very clearly the three nines curved in the L there. And if I were to turn this upside down, you would even more clearly see these three sixes. And Whitman has a tremendous amount of that beast coating. And I'll come back to it throughout. But with that 3-9, though, I want to bring Mount Etna back to everybody's attention because this thing is constantly erupting and is very, very important in an occult sense. This is the place that Typhon is said to be trapped underneath. This was the deadliest monster in Greek mythology, the most powerful. And you can see here the isolation point for it listed as triple nine kilometers. So this is a very important piece here, and of course there is certainly an argument to say that it could be the mountain represented on this cover. But let's come back here. What I want you to look at moving forward here is that we're looking at this deathbed edition. And part of why that's so important is this 2019 cover was originally nothing and I was talking about a concept with that the idea of unity and death but so you'll see here that the edition completed in the 33rd year has coding for false flag attack it also has coding for the horror which would be the last word spoken in the film apocalypse now it also has the numbers written out one eight and five 
Now on the right side of your screen here, you can see the coding that I've discussed with this in connection to Paramount themes, Donald John Trump written all the way out, Book of Revelation, Zion's Coming King all the way down to Judgment and the Star. Remember the only two cards turned on that 2017 cover. But so you can look through this further and find more and more fascinating information. But in connecting him to this death concept, let's look at the day that he actually passed away, which was March 26th. That's a very big deal number. And when Kennedy was assassinated on November 22nd, that was the 326th day of the year. So that's one dead president he's connected to. Rounding the bend, when Abraham Lincoln was assassinated in 1865, Whitman wrote, Oh, Captain, my captain, to commemorate him. Now that's 10 years after Leaves of Grass is first published. And you can see here the poem for Lincoln was in a book called Sequel to Drum Taps, which had 18 poems in it. Drum Taps is an anagram for Sad Trump. Now, that's two dead presidents. Now, let's integrate this piece that Trump used Lincoln's Bible when he was swearing in for the presidential inauguration. Hmm. There's more. When we look at the age that Whitman was when he died, he was 72. So that's Trump's current age. But when we look at this number 72, let's note some things here. First of all, that number written out shares coding with the phrase enough is enough, which is the very controversial phrase now on the Illuminati card with the very striking resemblance to Donald Trump's face on it. And you can see here all of these codings, Vladimir Putin, System Purge, which is from Cabin in the Woods, which is a very brilliant look at everything that I don't think I'll have time to go into for all of you. But what I want you to glean from that is that when we're looking at 72 and the people who died at that age, they're very, very important people. Most of you are familiar with the 27 Club. It's obviously an inversion of 72. And when we look at the 72 deaths, look at the significance of these people. Aleister Crowley, the father of modern day occultism. John Locke, Thomas Paine, some of the most influential figures in American history, one the father of liberalism and the other one of the fathers of the American Revolution. You also have Louis Pasteur, the father of immunology, creator of the vaccine, Dmitri Mendeleev, who created the periodic table of elements, modern science, on and on. Walt Whitman, of course, at this age. And the one I want to tune you into here that's really kind of interesting is Charles Lindbergh. The reason I want to tune you into him is because we're going to be talking about the role of aviation in predictive programming later on. But he's the first ever solo pilot across the Atlantic Ocean, a flight that took him 33 and a half hours, go figure, and he lands in Paris. And so again, as I've been discussing, Paris is really one of the top hotspots for occult history and importance. And again, president over there is listed in Leaves of Grass coding. But keep moving here though. So with all of that, and when we add seven and two together, it is nine. And we'll keep expanding on this number, but again, today the ninth day of the government shutdown. And thinking about, I believe it's um, Christ dies in the ninth hour. Um, so that's really interesting to keep in mind here too. But look at this. Let's get back to Whitman. <laughs> Born on May 31st. So very obvious coding on the left side of your screen. 
for a nice triple six there. What's worth mentioning here is that May 31st in 2013, we saw the release of Now You See Me. Now how that ties in here is that it centers around a group of magicians who refer to themselves as the Four Horsemen. And like all magicians, they rely on illusion, distraction, hypnosis. And this happens to be a particularly renegade group of them who rob banks and do all sorts of wild shit across their right, running time. But in looking back to this cover, I think that is a much more apt interpretation of these four horsemen. Not necessarily in the biblical sense, but in that these are figures of distraction. Much how when I was watching a lot of these other videos on this topic, they seem to be kicking around the same cans and just be distracted, much like our Vitruvian man down here who's not even connected with what is going on but we'll get back to that later because I've got quite a bit that I want to unravel with him as well but I just think that's an interesting side note so you can take a look here and see with the name Walt how you can get another triple six out of that and how the name itself means to overturn and you can think about this in conjunction with Walt Disney as well of course but that, again, is absolutely paramount in all of this. And you can read further through his coding to see references towards a new age and the end and all of these other massive pieces. His connection further to the number 55 here, more about what that coding means, Satan, and again, new age. But as we round the bend here to finally look at Walt's geometric values I want to preface it with this this is from December 18th of this year and it's from the New York Times talking about him receiving front page coverage for months when he fell sick in 1891 and if you read through here, you can see that the first date that they started to track this was December 18th of 1891. So if you follow that all the way through to when he died on March 26th, it's 100 days. And when you look at it, three months, nine days, we can see a 39, as in 20 plus 19. Or we can invert it as in 93, such as the master Thelemic number. But what I really want you to see here is the seconds and the minutes. We have the numbers 864 and 144. And again, this is just directly in them monitoring his death. What numbers do you see for his values? 864 and 144. Now you'll also see here that his coding shares crescent moon, mark of the beast, 44, New Age Religion, Order of Eleven, again. When you look back here, you can see that at the age of 11, he concluded his formal schooling and went on to become a printer's devil for the Patriot. Okay, And of course, 11, the number of points on the Cliffoth, one of the chief magic numbers, can see here again him working at a organization called New World on and on but when we go back here as well and you see this mark of the beast and the true beast I do want to compare his writing to Crowley quickly and this is a, a great little blurb somebody wrote here but they talk about Walt Whitman who is known to have said the shallow consider liberty a release from all law, from every constraint. The wise see in it, on the contrary, the potent law of laws. Goes on, as is obvious from this sentence, rather like Crowley, Whitman believed that all external institutions simply represented tyranny and that every human being is born to be free. Now he goes on to compare that further to Crowley's Do What Thou Wilt, 
and all of the immense importance connected in with that. But also remember we saw the number 44 in his coding. And when we look up Whitman's Birthplace Association, 4.4 stars out of 44 reviews. These are breadcrumbs placed so brilliantly for us to trace. You can see that address there of 246, and if we want to mirror and add it, we get that 888. Now, what else could we say here? Well, there is the crescent moon that also happens to be on this cover with Walt Whitman and all the other things I've reiterated at this point. But let's look at the fact that one of the most uh, utilized nicknames for Whitman was the Good Gray Poet. Each word beginning with a letter that reduces to seven and each word four letters. So a triple seven and a triple four. Both massive. You can add them. You can see the numerology down here that we play with. But Good Gray Poet also has that triple eight value and again you can see here it comes back to donald j trump morning star satanic wizard the path of none that is the death card nuclear weapon the number nine project blue beam all these things that i'm constantly talking about now let's keep building here with that number nine for a second just because one of America's most beloved families also has, uh, oops, we'll get to that in a minute, uh, has some influence here. And so The Simpsons, TS 2019, has an episode in season seven in which Homer comes across Walt Whitman's grave, which he's been led to believe is his mother's grave course when he finds out that it's waltz he kicks the grave and he happens to kick that grave nine times and then he turns around and he finds his own grave awaiting him so very brilliant and interesting writing per usual but the important thing there and you can just see all of the coding over here for that and the significance of those numbers again the 15 and the triple nine bearing their heads here but so let's let's move into the second half of this video now because I really want to expand this out and show you how this connects to the film Get Out because I told you I would do that in part one but I neglected to do so. So notice here the name Whitman. 23rd letter, 7 letters, 237. Remember that number. You can see here the name Whitman literally means white man. Hang on to that too. When we're looking at the gematric values for that name, it's a simple value of 88, just like that Phoenix cover we were looking at. It's also the same as Trump, Vladimir, False Flags, The New Age, and Get Out. Now, in broaching over to this here, it is important that we first identify the significance of Walt Whitman and this whole butterfly fiasco. So here you have from Stanford University a quote from Whitman lying about this butterfly on his finger over here, saying that it is real. And you can say you see he's talking to his sidekick and chronicler Horace Sorry, you should know who that is at this point. And turns out, no, it was not real. It was fake. It was an illusion. And they go on to say that it was actually this butterfly with words from John Mason Neal's Easter hymn. Again, connections to Christ here. And you can read that if you like. But there even does seem to be a little bit of controversy over what butterfly that was. Because when we look over here, and even when you just type in Walt Whitman butterfly, you get routed to a Library of Congress article. And they say that this was actually the one that was on his finger. So, you know, whatever you want to say with all of that. 
But what I want to say with Walt Whitman and the butterfly and how we're getting ready to talk about Get Out, when we look back at this 2019 cover of The Vitruvian Man, I think the reason why he's cut off at the waist is because they are trying to give us the symbolism of a butterfly. As you can see here, he has his four arms out, the head coming up, and of course the midsection coming below. And it is a striking resemblance to a butterfly on display. And why this is so important and why I told you to keep mind of the phrase brainwashing earlier is that when we look into something such as MK Ultra or mind control in general, one of the most associated symbols is the butterfly, hands down. And of course, the butterfly with its four segments of the wing, much like the four arms on our Vitruvian man. And in Get Out, we have the very troubling coagula procedure now when we look at this T, C, and P reduce down to 237 and again keep holding on to that number because that's like Whitman coagula procedures 19 letters path of resh stay with me here what this is in the movie You can see, it's a man-made miracle. Our order has been developing it for many, many years. And it wasn't until recently that it was perfected by my own flesh and blood. My family and I are honored to offer it as a service to members of our group. Don't waste your strength. Don't try to fight it. You can't stop the inevitable. And who knows? Maybe one day you will enjoy being members of the family. Behold the coagula. And so, of course, in that, they're using butterfly symbolism. And what they're talking about is implanting the mind of one individual into another so that they're able to experience life through them. And again, the movie... Um, we could I have a whole video in which I discuss it and I absolutely suggest you look into that but look here in thinking about that it is a man-made miracle looking at this coding here for coagula procedure you have President Trump and the second 9-11 all of these pieces that we've discussed repeatedly rapture delusion birth age of Aquarius, terrorist attack. You also here have reference to the Willis Tower and some geriatric shit. Now, think back. I did a whole video on the Willis Tower. Remember, it is so large it has its own zip code, 60606. Okay? Now remember as well that preceding it as the tallest in the world was the World Trade Center, which opened on April 4th of 1973, that 4-4. And so again, if we were to look back here to Walt Whitman's coding, we see that April 4th. And again, that 4-4, just like 44 is also coded in his name. And if you want to connect that as well to when he was, when Hillary unveiled that statue of him, if we break down that date in numerology, it also gives us 44. So again, majorly important numbers. But again, why I reference this, and something you can see here, let's just, we'll just get it all, all out on the table here because. In the actual Get Out video, I looked into the phrase, Behold the Coagula, and so I'll let you see all of that on the right side of your screen. But then keeping in mind on the left side of your screen, you have references to 
the economy has fallen, manifestation of Satan, MK Ultra written out twice, and Bill Clinton's Me Too reckoning. And it is worth mentioning that since this Vitruvian man who has a Me Too tattoo on his chest that we see that coding, and since we're talking about Hillary Clinton and her unveiling that Whitman statue. Notice as well here, our Vitruvian man also has a crescent moon. So, yet again. But take a look for the values of the coagula procedure. All of these values, they sum to 18 when you add them together, and that is very, very rare. I've actually not seen that. Now, when we step back here and we look at the man who is really the voice of reason in this movie, Rod Williams. Again, it's an 11-letter name, just like Walt Whitman. And you can see his coding over here connected with Prophet of Destruction, final United States president, all these major pieces that we talk about. What I want you to see, let's see if I can play you this clip here. The next 9-11 is going to be on some geriatric shit. <laughs> all right, so that's point number one. And as you can see, some geriatric shit shares that coding with the coagula procedure and as i stated earlier it's interesting that he is a tsa agent because remember the first 9 11 had so much to do with obviously airplanes and then he's saying what the next one is going to be on and so to me it's very interesting and when we're looking at it in the context of this movie in this brainwashing and this swapping of minds, it is indeed on some geriatric shit. That's what the coagula procedure is, is enabling elderly individuals to start over, to not have to die, to be immortal, to be Dracula's, okay, to be Walt Whitman's. Now you can see down below here, the coding for geriatric shit lines up with so many things that I've talked about, including my name, Book 77, The Economist, Six It Vobis, The Last Words of Book of Toth, and again, Global Control, The Apocalypse, The Cremation of Care Ceremony, Financial Crisis, all of that wrapped in here. And now when we look at geriatric on its own, we just get more confirmation of this, right? It has values for the moon, end of the age economy polaris now look at this on the bottom here oh jeez so listen closely cuz this is the second scene in which the main character chris in get out calls rod at the airport She says, flight 237. And remember, I've been telling you to hold on to that number because the letters from the coagula procedure give us 237 and Whitman's name gives us a 237. And then in this movie, that is referenced. And then look here at the coding for it, the Age of Pisces Aquarius crossover. And in it, you have discussed Donald Trump shot in the head sanctify with his blood seven of cups reversed and that's not good you see a reference to a mount etna eruption the angel of destruction and the quote that death rules this world and then at the very end you have a reference to john davison rockefeller well who's john davison rockefeller that couldn't be yeah that's the john d rockefeller who started that god-awful mess but so in finishing everything up here this is the last thing i want to show you and it's combining our two central pieces here get out and leaves of grass 
And when we combine those together, it is 19 letters. 2019. And in it, we have January 1st, Architect of the Universe, and Jeremiah 9-11. Again, another 9-11. And all of our talk of 11, first month, first day, there's another one for you. And you can see here in the simple coding, the number 237, what are the odds? That is phenomenal. And I'll take you one step further since we're talking so far about inversion and all of these pieces. Remember earlier in this video when we looked at the span of time the New York Times covered Whitman's death. You have this number 142 here. Well, let's invert that number and make it 241. And that is the number for the simple value of flight 237. It's phenomenally interesting. And again here, you can see reference to the book of Revelations. The demon superweapon, cosmic consciousness, the thing that the Vitruvian man is not allowed to embrace here. He is detached. Although he appears to be in front of this screen in front of him, he is not able to see or connect with anything around him. His hands are all occupied, his eyes covered. But let's take one more look at these numbers. Get Out first premiered on January 24th of 2017. And since we get this date of January 1st here, let's look at some more numbers in connection to it. So that Get Out premiere to that date is 707 days. You drop that, you have a 77, as in book 77. Also looking at that 707, it's the same area code that Monte Rio is located in. That is where Bohemian Grove is. That is where the cremation of care is said to take place. That span of time, one year, 11 months, and 8 days becomes triple 11, or triple 1 times 8. It gives us our triple 8 again. And that brings you back to our coding up here with the good gray poet and project blue beam and the number nine and donald j trump finally one million eighteen thousand and eighty minutes drop those zeros and it's 1188 it's the coagula procedure there it is okay all things to be revealed all things to be revealed okay in that scene where she talks about flight 237, when it comes back on, she references gate 311. Of course, we reduce that down and we get a nice 33. Also, since we're just rack them all up here, if you read all the way through this article, it discusses that the last day that they covered Walt, Whit Walt Whitman's death or him, him was March 30th. Again, drop that zero, three, three. And March 30th happens to be the day that I started this channel a couple years back. And there is one really, really in tune viewer out there. Huge shouts to you, Return to Nature, because you need to look at that. And, you know, with all that being said, I think, I think that'll do it. You know, the only other thing here to really mention on the way out is Whitman being underneath Pinocchio, lying about that butterfly, lying about his nationalism. If you look into some other articles and research on him, you can see that uh, he was a big hypocrite um, and that he was largely offensive. <laughs> But no surprises there. All right. If you're curious in the Jeremiah 9-11, there's that for you. Talking about leaving Jerusalem in a heap of ruins. And laying waste to the towns of Judah so that no one can live there. <clears throat> and I guess one last bit. Since pipelines 
pops up on this cover, Putin's Pipelines, again, 7-7. Seven, seven. I'm interested in pipelines because of that missile talk I was talking about earlier. Okay, and you can see here references to 9-11, masonry, vitriol, huge, and many other pieces. So, with all of that, I am very curious to see what all we've got coming up this year. Looks real interesting. Um, I'm going to go on to talk about September 13th, 2019 in the future as well. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and as always, thank you so much to everybody for taking the time to understand this information and to not just try to write it off or explain it away. As I show you time and again, this is absolutely worth your consideration and your energy. So as always... Please, please be well.